Hey, Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here with a week four college football matchup for Saturday, September 23rd. We're going to talk UTSA Roadrunners, Tennessee Volunteers, and to do that, we're going to bring in our man here, Ross Benjamin, uh, the man, the myth, the legend himself. Uh, Ross, I heard a sneaky little rumor here, you're having a damn good football season here. Tell us about that. I'm out on all sports run right now, Lenny, since uh, Tuesday the 12th of 17-1. and 1. And that okay. includes 14-0 and 0 since last Friday. College football okay. last week, a perfect 7-0 and 0 with a top play winner on the Florida Gators, plus the 6.5 nice. at home against Tennessee. 5-0 in the NFL last week, including a uh, top play winner on the Dallas Cowboys, minus 8.5. 12 and 0 all together in football last week with Ooh. my college football and NFL combined. So yeah, it's it's one of those epic runs that we all dream of of sport as being sports Absolutely. Handy. Uh let's get after this then, man. I'll tell you, this is why we call you the man, the myth, the legend. Uh <laughs> UTS, UTSA Roadrunners traveling to Tennessee, take on the volunteers. Volunteers minus 21 here, three touchdowns even. Over under is 59 and a half. Ross, where are we going with this one? Well, I'm going to look at the side here. Look, Tennessee's coming off an emotional game at Florida. I just mentioned last uh, that I had Florida in that game as a top play. Tennessee is a six and a half point favorite. They eventually went down to a five point favorite. Uh, but all in all, they lost the game outright 29 to 16. And it was pretty much a wire to wire job for Florida. However, that was an extremely emotional game. And on deck, uh, they have Vanderbilt, or excuse me, they have South Carolina. Uh, and that's their S another SEC game. And in between, they have UTSA, a non-conference matchup. And they're going to be facing the UTSA team. It's off to a disappointing one and two start, Lenny. I thought this team would be much better out of the gate than they were. Uh, now, having said that, they lost 17-14 at Houston in a the game they completely outgained them uh 417 to 339 uh they were hindered by a minus three turnover differential in that game and then they uh get by texas state in their uh, ensuing matchup by seven and that's the same texas state team that went to baylor the week before and won and then last week they were caught looking ahead uh because as much as this isn't a, a big matchup for Tennessee, this is like a college football national championship game for a, a, a smaller conference team like UTSA to go into Tennessee uh, in front of 100,000-plus fans. Uh, and they overlooked Army. And as a nine-point favorite, they fell 37-29. to 29. It must be said, though, they played without their star quarterback, Frank Harris, who was out with a toe injury. He's listed as questionable here. Their backup's not bad, but the uh, Frank Harris is the kind of guy that could probably play on most Power 5 conference teams. Uh, Tennessee, besides the Florida, they played Austin P, and they played a terrible Virginia team. So it's not like they've played the toughest of competition. And I just think the, uh, UTSA, despite their one and two start, a very experienced team, uh, that's gone 25 and five the last two years. And I think they'll be primed and ready for this. I'm not going to call for an outright upset here, Lenny, but I think this is going to be a much more competitive game for Tennessee than much, much of the volunteer fan base would hope for. I'm going to take UTSA here plus 20 and a half over Tennessee. Yeah. Shop your lines folks. Cause I see 21 out there. So for purposes okay. of this show, I got 21, 20 and a half, 21 better, 20 and a half either way. I think the Roadrunners here are in are, are in this fight here. Whether and I'll tell you what, I didn't have a lot of play on this game, but I'll tell you what, seventeen and one. I'm in the car, no seatbelt needed. I don't care where we're going. I'm riding with Ross. So we're going Roadrunners plus the points here. Don't forget, you're looking for more from Ross Benjamin premium picks there. Hottest capper we got right now. I'm just gonna say it out loud. I'm going to say it. I don't care if you're going to edit it out. How does Capper we got? Fix and parlay. How does Capper in the country right now? I mean, and I, I don't think that I'm putting a star in my forehead when I say that. Lenny, people don't, don't realize so how hard it is to go 17 yeah. and one over an eight day period. I love it. I love it. Don't forget, use the promo code NCAAF. That'll save you 20% of everything you purchase at fixandparlays.net. 
Till then, we're taking the Roadrunners plus the points on Saturday, the 23rd, against Tennessee. Good luck, everybody. Unless you're against this, I'm Detroit Lenny and Picks and Parlays. Ross Benjamin, we appreciate you. Take care, folks.